As electrical engineers, there's a question in the air. Will AI replace us? That type of question will have you stop whatever you're doing, whatever project you're working on. It'll wake you up in the middle of the night. It'll stop you mid-thought even. But just take a look at this incredible city. Florence wasn't built by people who stopped. It was built by engineers like Brunelleschi and Da Vinci, who didn't just look at the dome and think whether or not it was possible, but asked instead, how? New tools, new methods, new ideas, but the mission remains the same, and that's where we are now. The tools are changing, the pace is accelerating, but the work, the engineering, the judgment, intuition, and responsibility, you see, that's still ours. AI is already part of our workflow in design, simulation, layout, optimization, you name it. So these tasks that used to take hours now take mere seconds. So we're watching it do things we were trained to do, and faster and sometimes even cleaner than we're able to. But what's changing isn't engineering, it's how we engage with it. Think of the shift from the calculator to Excel. It just sped up our processes. It made us able to calculate 100 times faster and come up with new solutions faster. Excel didn't eliminate engineers, it amplified our abilities. If you've seen any of the space movies, and you famously know that the computer that was on the Apollo 11 rockets is a much less powerful than the phone that you have in your pocket. Isn't that amazing? The calculations and things that we did took much longer. And now, in order for us to move beyond this, how are we going to get to Mars if we don't use the new tools? And that's exactly what the AI is. It's going to allow us to work faster, to be more efficient, to raise our baseline to something much higher. But the ingenuity, the thinking, and the problem solving, that is still on us. In a world rushing towards automation, judgment matters more than ever before. When AI can generate 10 circuit designs in a second, you've got to ask which one actually meets thermal targets and fits within the budget and complies with safety regs and all the other things that AI can actually do. See, that's not a spreadsheet problem. That's an engineer's problem that all types of engineers are asked to solve. Because when a medical device fails, it doesn't matter how quote unquote optimized it was. It matters that someone took all the inputs and understood what this device is for, to benefit humanity. And who knows that better than we do. So this moment that we're living in, it's not a dead end. It's a bridge from having to do mundane, repetitive tasks by hand that took hours and hours. Now things can be done instantly, from writing every line to designing entire systems. From just being reactive when problems arise, we can now start to predict what they will be in the future. And we can do this only by these tools that we've created. Each time this happens is a huge step in innovation, and now is your time for you to embrace it. We're still at the heart of all that. We're not being left behind, we're actually being lifted up by the tools that we've created. Your value as as an engineer is about to grow, but only if you grow with it. If you learn the new tools, if you adapt your thinking, if you lead in this transition. The industry is shifting faster than ever before, but that's not new. We've always adapted from analog to digital, from vacuum tubes to silicon, from the abacus to the calculator to spreadsheets, and now this. This is just another evolution, and you're still very much needed. So the engineers that built this city didn't fear the future. They embraced it. They shaped it using math, courage, and imagination. So don't fear AI. Learn it. Use it. Understand how to lead with it. Because guess what? The next renaissance isn't about painting ceilings or fancy architecture. It's about building systems. Electrical engineers are not being replaced. We're being reimagined. Because even in an age of algorithms, the breakthroughs that matter still begin with a spark that leap of intuition, a moment of clarity, a bold decision no machine can make. The future still runs on human ingenuity, and it runs on me and you. If you're curious about how ready you are for the shift, I built a free two-minute AI assessment test for engineers. You'll get a quick score and a free PDF that I built with the five different tools that all engineers should be using now. The link is in the description and the pinned comment below. See you there.